that is the road you are walking slowly tired when you are tired and walking slowly seems all uphill uphill means going at that moment you want to smile and you want to smile but you have to sigh you want to smile but it's not possible with all things with troubles all around is it possible to smile okay. no, if you sure. want to take rest rest for a while but don't you quit but you never quit you keep life is square square means what it is a very big mystery you think it to be something and it is something else. If he had continued with the struggle, maybe he might have won. But if he has quit the game, there are no chances that he wins. So maybe you are only one or two steps behind success when things are worst. When the situation is in the worst situation, that is the situation when you have to be there. That Hello friends. As per your request, today we have started. The intermediate first year English portion. Kindly subscribe our channel. Your support has been a big strength for us so far. Keep supporting us. This will encourage us surely. And share with your friends those who are in your inter in their intermediate level so that they can also have some help for their English exams. So let's get into the video. Here, yeah, the first lesson that is a poem. That is keep going. Okay. Actually the pronunciation is poem. But in India we pronounce it as poem. Uh, we can pronounce it either way. Because it is allowed. Okay. So here uh, the first poem is keep going. The uh, poet of this poem is uh, Edgar Albert Guest. Okay. So I will just explain the uh, line by line meaning of this poem. Right. Here. In the poem segment, first it is like uh, half the segment is given, below that question and answers are given. And then again half the segment is given, then question and answers are given. So firstly, first half I will so firstly, first half I'll explain. Then I will just help you to answer the questions which are given below that. Then I will go with next half. Then we will answer the questions that are given below. Right? Let's get into it. Right. When things go wrong as they sometimes will. When things go wrong as they sometimes will. That is, when things go wrong means when things do not happen the way we expect them to happen. We expect them to happen in one way, but they happen in the other way. That is what we say, things go wrong as they sometimes will. It definitely happens. It, in reality, it happens, right? In imagination, we think something. In reality, it happens something else. When the road you are trudging seems all uphill. Trudging means you can see the glossary here. Trudging means walking warily with heavy slow steps. That is, the road you are walking slowly, tired. When you are tired and walking slowly, seems all uphill. Uphill means going up towards the peak of the hill. That is, now hill is like this, yeah. Uphill means going this way. When you are climbing a mountain, it is definitely a difficult task. Okay. So when things appear very difficult, like climbing up a mountain, when the funds are low, funds are low means when the money is less, you do not have sufficient money and the debts are high. Debts means when you have borrowed, the loans are so much. When the loans are so much, automatically there is a pressure when there is a pressure automatically there is trouble we are disturbed we are sad okay and then and you want to smile all these things are around you whatever you expected did not happen when you are walking or when you are doing something it looks as if you are uh, climbing a mountain that much difficult the task is becoming and uh, when the money is very less and the loans are very high when there is lot of pressure but at that moment, you want to smile. And you want to smile, but you have to sigh. You want to smile, but it's not possible with all things, with troubles all around. Is it possible to smile? No, not at all. So you have, but you have to sigh. You want to smile, but you have to sigh because you cannot smile. When care is pressing you down a bit. Care means a lot of responsibilities. You have to do this, that. You have so much of... Uh, so much of commitments, you have so much of duties to be performed, all these are pressing you down. Rest if you must, 
Now, when all these situations are like this, if you must rest, maybe you are very tired, you are very busy, uh, you are uh, very engaged all the time. So, if you want, you rest for a while. That's okay. If you want to take rest, rest for a while. But don't you quit. But you never quit. You keep struggling. You keep pressing hard. You keep yourself moving ahead. If you want, take rest and again walk ahead. But don't quit the game. You be in the game. That is what matters. Whatever may be the situation around, be in the game. Keep working. Keep working. Go ahead. Move ahead. Yeah. Life is square. Square means what? Now look at that in the glossary. Odd and strange. Life is a very big mystery. You think it to be something and it is something else. That is, it is full of mysteries. Uh, so many puzzles, so many uh, so many twists, so many riddles are there in our life. Okay, it's a big mystery. Life is square with its twists and turns. So, twists and turns means we think it will be, uh, the path will be straight. But when we go there, there are so many turns over there. So many uh, thrills, so many adventures, so many unexpected things happening. Okay, that is twists and turns. As every one of us sometimes learns and many a failure turns about. So, we all learn while we are living our life. We learn that life is not a straight path. It has so many things in store. All we have to do is go look at it and then uh, live it or experience that and go ahead and learn from the experience. Go ahead. Those are the twists and turns and many a failure turns about. There are many failures in our a life and when he might have won had he stuck it out what is a stuck stuck is a past tense of stay remained attached to and when he might have won had he stuck it out had he that means if he had stuck to the struggle if he had continued with the struggle maybe he might have won but if he has quit the game there are no chances that he wins. So, it is very important that you keep struggling. You keep on going ahead. Yeah, when he might have won, had he stuck it out, if he had stuck, if he had been continuing, he would have won. But that didn't happen. Don't give up. Though the pace seems slow. Maybe the things are going very slowly. Yeah, like we expected to go very fast. We wanted to go in 5G speed. But it is going in 2G speed, doesn't matter. Is it going or not, that matters. And are you patient enough to go along with it, to take up the lessons which the experience teaches, that's very important. You may succeed with another blow. Maybe you are only one or two steps behind success. When you do those two steps, maybe you are the winner of the game, okay? So, never get disheartened, never uh, get uh, discouraged, never to worry about this. Keep going, keep moving ahead. That's it. That is what the poem says. Now, let's have the questions here. Here, there are some questions to help us whether we have understood this part, okay? List four difficult situations mentioned in the first five lines of the poem. What are the first five lines? When things go wrong as they sometimes will... And then, when the road you are trudging seems all uphill. So, first difficult task we can say is, when things become are complicated or difficult. Complicated or difficult like climbing a mountain. Okay. So, this is a difficult task. So, this is the first difficult task. Climbing a hill or a mountain. This is the first difficult task you can say. Next, when the funds are low and the debts are high. When money, money is less. This is also a difficult task. That is financial problems are there. That is one difficult task. And you want to smile but you have to uh, sigh. You want to uh, be happy but the situation is such that you have to give a sigh. And when care is pressing you, care, what did I say? Care, responsibilities, responsibilities are too high, very much, much responsibilities are there. 
okay responsibilities are too high this is also one difficult task when care is pressing down you a bit and then debts are high debts means loans financial problems we can say when we have financial problems all these are the difficult tasks okay and here in the first line we say when things go wrong when things go wrong means when things do not happen the way we expect okay this is things go wrong okay so you can cut it short and write in your own sentences okay now i am writing in a neat way so you can take a screenshot if you want to use it for your writing work okay so answer by answer i will write just now we discuss the first answer i will write it down now four difficult situations mentioned in the first five lines of the poem are unexpected failures climbing a mountain financial problems responsibilities and duties troubling us okay on to the second question what may be permitted and what is not allowed to a man facing such problems what are not permitted rest may be permitted and what is not allowed quitting is not allowed okay quitting is not allowed to a man facing such problems according to the first answer so you can write the entire thing uh, quitting is not allowed to a man facing such problems according to the first answer okay on to the third one what is the essential quality of life that everyone learns at times so here you can just search for this keyword what is that learns where is learn second para th second line is there okay life is square with its twists and turns as every one of us sometimes learns so here was the question what is essential quality of life that everyone learns at times everyone learns at times that life is life is full of twists and turns okay on to the third question what is the essential quality of life that everyone learns at times so everyone learns at times that life is full of twists and turns you can also say everyone learns at times that life is a mystery it has so many adventures so many thrills that way also you can write and then on to the fourth question what is the hope the speaker offers wants to go want to go ahead the hope that the speaker offers want to go ahead is that they are very near to success here you say you may succeed with another blow blow means hitting like this maybe one more hit you give one more hit means one more trial one more attempt one more time you try you may be winning maybe you are the at the winning shot only one shot is there if you try it maybe you will win you are very near to a success so he says the hope that the speaker offers wants to want to go ahead is that they are very near to success that is the hope okay here actually in the book it is a b c and d uh, as per my habit i have uh, written it so here change the numbers the hope the speaker offers one to what hope he gives one to go ahead is that they are very near to success just one more try and you can say one more attempt you can say anything you can say one more attempt can give them success right we move ahead with the rest of the poem okay so we move ahead with the rest of the poem so i'll just move a little bit you can take a, a screenshot so that you can write for your uh, notes or you can just use for revising this poem for your 
uh, exams. Okay. All right. Now we move ahead with the second segment. Okay. Often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. Faint means what do you mean by faint? Here in the glossary we have weak, lacking energy and courage. Yeah. Faltering. What do you mean by faltering? Moving unsteadily or wavering. That means unstable mentality. Those who do not, do not have a stable mentality. Those who do not have a strong belief that they are going to win. Sometimes they think I will win and sometimes I, I cannot win. How can I win? Sometimes they say yes I will do. Sometimes they say no it's not possible for me. So that is called faltering. No stable mindset. It is always wavering. Here and there always fickle mind we say. Fickle mentality. That is not a stable one, not a steady one, not a consistent one. Inconsistent mentality also we say. Okay. It seems to a faint and faltering. Faint means very weak fellow. Weak means not physically weak. Weak means weak, no courage. There is no guts to dream, to believe that they are going to win. That is called faint. Okay. It seems to a faint and faltering man, to a person without any courage, to a person who doesn't have a stable mind, it may seem, it may, uh, it may feel as though uh, often the goal is nearer uh, than. Okay, for them, uh, the goal is very near. But for them, it looks as though it is very far away. Okay, often the goal is nearer than it seems to a faint and faltering man. It is near. But for that fellow, it looks as it is very far away. Often the struggler has given up. Sometimes we do this. We say once, twice, thrice, ten times and then we give up. Okay. This happens in each one of our life at one circumstance or the other. We might have done it. Often the struggler has given up. The struggler, one who was uh, doing, who was struggling, who was uh, trying, he has given up. He has thought, oh no, no, this is not possible for me. I am going to give up. He has given up. When he might have captured the victor's cup, he might have been very near and at that moment he had given up. Okay. And he learned too late after so much of time. After he gave up and then uh, after some time, after so much of time, he came to know and he learned too late when the night slipped down. Night slipped down means when it's already uh, time up. The time is already over. It's too uh, it's actually uh, time, uh, the time is already over, it's too late, okay. How close he was to the golden uh, crown. So here, uh, the person who was uh, trying and trying has given up and later he realized that he was very near to the golden crown. Golden crown means, crown that generally uh, represents victory. Victory means success okay so how he near he was he realizes very late when he cannot come back to the same moment and win again is it possible if you are running in the running race in the middle you thought no no i am at the last i can't win you stopped you quit the game you went out of the ground and afterwards uh, after some time you saw that those who were running in the front they got tired they became slow if you were in that race you might have won is there any use you have gone out of the ground. Can you come again and run? Will it be accepted? No, not at all. So it is very important to keep going. Being in the race is very important. Okay, yes. Success is failure turned inside out. Turned inside out means, the, uh, if you see, uh, for example, I am telling, if there is a bag, okay, if you pu pull the inside out, ulta, we tell it ulta, yeah, when we make it ulta, you can see the all the stitches and all. That is the ulta. That is inside out. Okay. So, here he says, success is failure turned inside out. So, where is success? Where is failure? Both are in the same place. If you take a bag, the ulta is also there only. The front side is also there only. That means, success and failure are like two sides of a coin. They are attached to each other. It is. It cannot be separated. Both are a part of each other. If you succeed only, you will fail. If you fail only, you will succeed. Yes, success is failure turned inside out. That means failure is a part of success. Success is a part of failure. The silver tint 
of the clouds of doubt. So you might have heard this uh, proverb, uh, dark cloud, silver lining of the dark clouds. That is, when it is going to rain, there is so much of dark clouds come. And when the dark clouds block the sun, there is a golden line formed around the dark clouds. Okay, so that is the silver tint, that golden color, the silver tint of the clouds of doubt. So here what he says is, this dark cloud is there, that is the cloud of doubt. Okay, and what exactly is that silver tint? That is the hope. If you have the hope, you will go ahead. Or if you think, oh, this is very dark, I can't go ahead, you will be wherever you are. Okay. And then, and you never can tell how close you are. Now the silver tint is there. Can we uh, estimate how far the sun is? Maybe the sun is near, maybe the sun is far. We don't know because the cloud has blocked it. Once the cloud moves, we can know it. Okay. So we have to just wait. Stand there till the cloud moves. If we go away telling there is a dark cloud, I can't do it. You can never see the sun. That is sun represents success. Dark clouds represent the hardships, the failures. Okay. And you never can tell how close you are. It may be near when it seems afar. You may think the sun is far away. But maybe the sun is very near. Okay. So you cannot estimate because the dark cloud is blocking here. So never take a decision when you are in a failure uh, stage. You keep trying. Maybe success is very near to you. Yes. And then so stick to the fight. Always be in the game. Stick to the fight. Be in the battlefield. Victory is yours. Stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. Hardest hit means uh, when we go for a smaller competition, we have smaller failure. A bigger competition, bigger failure. When we are working for a higher entrance exam, higher uh, examination, a higher level, naturally whatever failures or whatever humiliations, whatever insults, whatever comes, it will be more naturally. The higher the target, higher the obstacles, higher the hurdles, higher the failures, okay? So stick to the fight when you are hardest hit. When the failures are more and more hardest hit means when so many people are hitting you. Hitting you is not physically hitting you. When people are insulting you, when people are uh, commenting on you, when people are uh, uh, contradicting you, okay, controversies are there. Be, be strong, be in the fight. It's when things seem worse that you mustn't quit. So remember what is the point that you mustn't quit is when the things are worst. When the situation is in the worst situation, that is a situation when you have to be there. That is a situation when you should not leave the fight and come out. Okay. Now let's get into the questions. Who sees the goal at a far off place? Though it is much nearer. Now look at the keyword. What is the keyword here? Goal. Where is the goal word? It is in the first line. Okay. Who sees the goal at a far off place? Though it is much nearer. Okay. I will write it down. Uh, who is that person? A faint and faltering man. Okay. Right. So overall what we learn from this poem is whatever goal you have. You may have a big goal or a small goal. It is as per your limitations, your family situations, uh, your talents, your whatever you have according to that you have a goal. For others it may be a small goal but for you that is the biggest goal for you. Okay. So when you are trying for that goal many people will tell many things. Many exams you write you may fail. While you are writing exam there is some family problem. You have some health issues. Whatever may be the struggle, don't give up. Never think that you cannot do it. That is what he says. Just be there. I will do it. I can do it. I must do it. I should do it. Just be there. One day or the other, definitely success is yours. That's what the poem says. Okay. So keep a target. Keep working. How much of a difficulty is it? Don't quit. Don't go out. Never think that you cannot do Believe in yourself and keep going ahead. Okay, maybe slow, maybe fast, maybe take rest, maybe fall down, then get up. Whatever may be it, be in the game. Keep trying, keep trying. Success is definitely yours. Okay, now let's get into the question and answers. Okay, who sees the goal at a far off place though it is much nearer? So to avoid confusion, I will write here a segment. 
to by Jonas in second half we are reading in that A we can say a faint and faltering man a faint and faltering man sees the goal sees the goal at sees the goal at a far off place though it is much nearer though it is much nearer right when does a struggler learn that he or she has missed the victor's cup so i told you an example you are in the running race okay you might have won if you had run the race but you quit you went out of the uh, game and afterwards you saw all those who were running in front of you were running slow okay when does the struggler learn that he has missed the victor's cup so he, he says often the struggler has given up he has given up after he has quit the game he realized okay so that's what we are going to write a struggler now how you write this here does is there so if does is there we should add s to the verb what is the verb learn is the verb so a struggler learns that he or she has missed the missed the victor's cup after he or she has given up after giving up they realize that they have missed the victor's cup okay what does the speaker mean by the golden crown golden crown is generally for kings and queens golden crown means uh, the victor the so how will we write this the speaker here also does is there so how will you write the speaker means what the what can you say title of victory title of victory success also you can say triumph also you can say okay the speaker means title of victory by the word by the phrase you can say by the phrase the golden crown okay on to the next question how does the narrator describe success in the last stanza so how does he describe he says success is failure turned inside out so he says the success is a path of failure success is the other side of failure both are inseparable success and failure cannot be separated so i am telling these many you can pick any one which you like how does the narrator describe success the narrator describes success as failure turned failure turned this is deep okay, inside out okay or it's a part of failure that way also you can write and then um, when shouldn't one particularly quit what is the particular moment he is specifying when one should not quit when he is worst hit so here you say so stick to the fight when you are hardest hit it is when things seem worst that you mustn't quit so you can take two things here that we must not quit one must not quit when he is hardest hit and when things seem worst so these is the these are the answers okay on to the e that is fifth question when shouldn't one particularly quit or will you write one shouldn't how the question is asked in the same terms only we should start the answer one shouldn't particularly quit when when he or she is hardest hit and when things seem worst or you can write in simple sentence also one shouldn't particularly quit when one is at the toughest situation when it at the bottom of failure when he is in a very miserable condition any of the ways you can write hope this session was useful to you i do think you could understand the poem uh, if at all you have any doubts kindly text me in the comment section i will uh, just clarify your doubts or i will uh, clarify your doubts in the next video uh, next video i am going to do our uh, july portion which is for our unit uh, unit tests okay so that is i am going to do a uh, father dear father from prose the first one that is the fifth lesson father dear father in that video i'll clarify if you have any doubts in this uh, 
uh, video okay so if you have any doubts just mark the time and which part of the video you have the doubt and then text to me i will be uh, definitely clarifying your doubts and then uh, slowly after that we will go with parts of speech one by one i will be uploading so just click the uh, bell icon so that you will get the notification and immediately you can uh, get to go through the videos and your encouragement will be a great support for me keep uh, commenting uh, that will boost my energy so keep in touch keep commenting and uh, click the like button if this video was useful to you thank you and have a great day